Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a U-Force 1000 XL and we are gonna be installing a sound system. That is a hoppy kicker sound system. Look at that unit sign. Even has a end cab light there. We have the XL, but listen, those of you that don't have an XL, this sound system works for the regular cab as well. So Mr. Harmon here is removing the roof. We're gonna give you a brief overview of the install process, cover all the important details, and make it as, as possible so that you can follow along with this video. And just hit the highlights. So he's just removing the roof and that's gonna make it easier for us to access these bolts here, which is what we have to remove because we have to mount the mounting brackets for the head unit. And we'll get into that in just a moment. But you do have instructions. And listen, real quick, while he's getting that removed, look at him, he's strong. Got the whole roof off. Now, <laughs> uh, you can get this sound system at teammscparts.com. When you get to the website, teammscparts.com, you can go up to the little search bar and look up U-Force 1000 Hoppy sound system or Hoppy kicker sound system, and that should pull it up for you. And I also have a link down in the description of this video straight to the sound system. We also may be adding to this video maybe another accessory that's going to go up here as well. We'll get to it in just a minute. Mr. Harmon, we have exposed these bolts here. I reckon we gotta take them off too, don't we? We're gonna do one side at a time so you don't have to mess with this big heavy. Don't let it fall on you. Yeah, that's right. So that's... we'll just do one side at a time. All right, sounds good to me. All right, with these mounting brackets, you have two of them. There is a driver side and a passenger side. But if you'll take a look at here, uh, we are putting the angled part to the front of the machine. The straight part goes towards the passengers and driver. It's not labeled, just look for this angle piece. That's gonna go towards the front windshield and the straight side goes to the back. Just gonna line these holes up. We'll do that here in just a moment. You do have supplied bolts in the kit and washers. Tighten it down with the new bolts that are supplied in the kit. So now that we got both of our brackets up, we've got everything lined up and tightened down. We're gonna take our roof and put our roof back on, line that up, get our roof bolted back in. As you can see, that's why you gotta pay attention to this hole there. You wanna make sure it's lined up before you tighten this down. And then we'll put our roof back on and the four bolts that go across there and then right up here, cause you can't get to those with the speaker on. Now we've got our bolts back in place. Boom, boom, all the way down. And then we'll put these on. Now you can, like in a regular cab, you can, there's enough room if you undo those bolts, you don't have to take the backside off and take the roof completely off. You can lift it up gently and access your bolts up there. But again, for video purposes, we just want to get it up and out of the way, let more light in and where you can see a little better. We're going to lift the sound system in place and then put our bolts that are included with your kit in place and tighten her down. Definitely would help to have two people to do this part. We were able to lift it up together and start our bolts and leave a little gap there because the bracket is going to be sucked into the uh, the speaker box. So keep that in mind as well. Don't tighten one side down before you ever start on the other side or you'll have a little problem. So we got it lined up and now we can tighten them all down. And then we'll move on to the wiring process. But what do y'all think so far? I mean, that's a super simple install process. Looks really, really good. I'm ready to fire it up and see what these kickers sound like. Now we've got our hood removed out of the way. Remember there's three grommets here. Just pop that out. And then there's some notches here. Just pop 
pop these out and then slide back, lift it out of the way. Then we're going to take this bolt out, this one, and I believe the instructions also say to take these two out. We'll see about that. But yeah, that's just to lift, make some room to we build a run some wires. That's right. I pull it in here. Okay. So these are 10 millimeter bolts. So if you'll notice in the instructions there, you do not have to completely remove this side. Harmon is wanting us to get this out of the way so that we can really show you what we're working on here and what we're accessing. But you can gently pull up here and access the solenoid here where we're gonna be tapping into for some power. The red and the black there. And then of course, we're gonna run a keyed on power to this uh, wiring harness that's included. But anyhow, just wanted to let you know on this step, you can skip this part, but Harmon definitely wants you to be able to see exactly what he's doing. So he's gonna take his little body panel clip remover. It don't take long to do this part anyways. So get that. Then there's one more up in here in this corner. It's always hiding from me. And let me get this joker removed. Just like so. There's little rubber grommets here and here. Now you can easily see everything and build around everything up. No problem. We have our wiring harness that's included. You don't have to wrap it or anything. It's already come ready to go. We're gonna route that up to the speaker and it's already got a plug on it. Makes this install very simple and you can definitely do it yourself. In the instructions, it actually routes it right along this channel. But if you already have a windshield, you'll know, hey, that's gonna be in the way. We're gonna route that right up here and Harmon is already cleaning the surface with the included alcohol wipe and make sure it dries and then he's going to put that there and that's simply just going to help us to have a nice and neat install we've got some zip ties and we're going to just route that right along down the channel there it's going to be just on the inside where you will see it when you're riding in the machine but from the exterior you're not even going to see it. it's going to be a nice and clean install before you actually make any connections you want to disconnect your battery so we've got that done and that way we don't have any issues of maybe accidentally shorting anything out. Be careful not to strip it, but you definitely don't want a loose electrical connection. So we'll put our red on and our black on, and then we're gonna hook up these connectors right here. Pull toward you. Be careful doing this so that you don't break any clips, but just pop that out. Harmon popped this little cubby hole or under the dash container area. Just right out of here. You can just grab that and pop it out. And uh, he's going up under here and cutting a zip tie that's holding one of the wires, which is going to allow some more slack right here. Oh yeah, just like that. The Harmon is routing the wire in here nice and neat under the hood. Just gonna lift this up, put the wire right underneath there. And if you put it right here, it is not pinching it. And that's how you'll see it in the uh, instructions as well. So now that we have our wires routed down and behind the dash, you've already seen us do the removal process. We are going to look for plug that goes to the 12 volt accessory power all right and you're going to unplug that because we're going to tap into that with a plug once you plug that in we will plug the other side of the 12 volt accessory back up and that allows you to have power for both right so we don't want to take away from this plug but we are tapping into it and you will have power for both now. So once it's powered up, you can snap it in. So we'll snap this back into place. Booyah. All right. And the only reason we removed that was to be able to get our hand right here and pop this out easier. So that just sits in place and snaps up top. There we go. 
go. Plastic back on, put our hood on, and then we'll power this speaker up. You have to push it up and then get those slots in and pull it back down, and then you can pop your three grommets in. That way you go back with that nice, tight fit and finish. All right, now let's fire this bad boy up. So we don't actually have to crank the machine up, just turn the key on and then this is going to power up. If it don't power up immediately, don't freak out. You can just press the power button just in case. Like when you take it out of the package at first, you turn the key on, it may not power up until you hit the power button. But anyways, just letting you know that. And then here's your dome light. Nice and bright LED lights there with a push button. Of course you have uh, different modes here and then you have menus. There's a lot of different things that we can do to customize it. It's already on the preset of rock, which is typically your best sound for loudness and on your EQ. But you do have source, you can go to auxiliary, you can go to the radio as well, dial that in. We'll go to Bluetooth music and I gotta be careful what I play. Of course, anytime you record a sound system with a camera, you can't judge or, you know, make any judgment of the sound quality through listening to a video. You really need to hear this thing in person, but I'm ready to hear it. So I'm going to try to find a song that I won't get copyright on and we'll pair up to it and see how it sounds. So just wanted to be able to show you that, you know, hopefully it didn't copyright me there, but when you turn, like you have a ton of volume adjustment here. I mean, it'll go like, I would not run it to 40. <laughs> it'll definitely, I mean, it's pushing out some sound and it's super loud. Uh, sounds really, really good. Now, when you go to menu and go to loud, I'm sorry, I passed it. Go to loud on or off. When you turn it on, buddy, it hits really hard. So you better make sure your volume is adjusted down so you don't blow anything. Now, I know Kicker makes some really good quality speakers. And, uh, you know, I don't preferably like speakers that blare. You know, I don't want that rattle and sound like the thing's about to bust or something. But with this particular sound system up to 20, even with the loud turned on, it was not too much for it and it sounded really good. I mean, the speaker is in a good position as well. So you, you're gonna be able to hear it over the noise of, you know, trail riding and whatnot. So I think this is a very awesome setup. As you saw, super easy to install. You've also got the dome light as well, which is a nice little added feature. And uh, man, it really does sound good. You need to hear it in person. Right now we'll have this unit on the showroom floor at Main Street Cycle. And uh, you can come in Bluetooth up to it and see what it sounds like. If not, you can just go to teammscparks.com. And I also have a link down in the description of this video. You can get this speaker. And this definitely works in the U-Force 1000 XL as well as the U-Force 1000. This is custom for this setup. So again, go down the link in the description. You can check it out and actually put it in your cart and check this thing out. Get it shipped to your house. And I'm sure you're gonna be happy with it if you're wanting a good quality sound system that you don't have to get wacky with to make it fit. That thing's gonna mount right up, look good. I like it, y'all. Tell me what you think. That's gonna do it for this video. We got some more accessories we're gonna install on this unit uh, and do some videos on. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up, comment. Appreciate you, God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.